Good morning. Today is Saturday the 26th of November. It's a feria in the 34th week in ordinary time. It's the last day of the old liturgical year. Tomorrow is New Year's Day in the liturgical year. It's also memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies of your kindness that your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and the reading is it continues the last reading from the Apocalypse, chapter 22, 1-7. to The angel showed me, John, the river of life, rising from the throne of God and of the Lamb, and flowing crystal clear down the middle of the city street. On either side of the river were the trees of life, which bear twelve crops of fruit in a year, one in each month, and the leaves of which are the cure for the pagans. The ban will be lifted, the throne of God and the Lamb will be in its place in the city. His servants will worship him. They will see him face to face, and his name will be written on their foreheads. It will never be night again, and they will not need lamplight or sunlight, because the Lord God will be shining on them. They will reign for ever and ever. And the angel said to me, All that you have written is sure and will come true. The Lord God who gives the Spirit to the prophets has sent his angel to reveal to his servants what is soon to take place. Very soon now I shall be with you again. Happy are those who treasure the prophetic message of this book. The Gospel of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. And the Gospel is the Gospel of Luke chapter 21. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery and drunkenness in the cares of life and that day will be sprung on you suddenly, like a trap, for it will come down on every living man on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen, and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. So both these readings are in a sense endings. Uh, the Gospel reading is does repeat but again rounds off what has been said all through the Luke's chapters 12 to 21 this one before Jesus arrives in Jerusalem for his passion, passion, last supper passion and death and that is get ready stay awake and pray here we hear some certificates specifics uh, don't have too many parties not too much drinking not too much debauchery try and stay sober um, because the as always, the hour will come when we don't expect it. And there's a, a pun on Hebrew words here. It says the last day will come like a trap. Or the same word is for labour pains for women in pregnancy. And we, earlier on you, we hear of the woman, you know, taken in, uh, about to give birth in pregnancy at the end of time. So it's a, a sense of being ready for it. And the final point is the repeated emphasis on keep praying. Um, Jesus all through his life, before all his big, big decisions, the pointing of the apostles, etc., always prayed. And we need to keep praying as well, putting our trust in God, spending time and giving him time. The end of the Apocalypse, um, the book of Revelation, takes from Ezekiel, where the vision of the, the waters of life flowing from his four corners. Here we have the water of life flowing out of the New Jerusalem under the direction of God and the Lamb. But notice all the, the possessives are all singular, not plural, aligning the identity of God, the Son of Man, and the Lamb of God. It's the same person as God. And it's a reminder of what is to be our great gift, that it's life. Water is a symbol for life. No water, no life. Um, so th this water that freely flows crystal clear down the middle of the road, ready for all. So, so nutritious this water is that the, the crops on either side can yield fruit 12 times a year, once a month. Extraordinary. Yet that's what 
God's life in us will reveal. We will put our trust, put our prayer in him. And being the last day of the year, we give a prayer of thanks to Our Lady who's always with us, always accompanying us on our journeys. So it's certainly a day to rejoice in Mary, her gift to us, her support for us. We turn now to our bidding prayers. The response is, Lord, help us as we work. God the Father has adopted us as, as brothers and sisters of his only Son, and through the ages has stayed with us and kept us in his love. Let us ask him for the needs of the world. Lord, help us as we work. We pray for all who plan and build in our cities. Give them respect for every human value. Lord, help us as we work. Pour out your spirit on artists, craftsmen and musicians. May their work bring variety, joy and inspiration to our lives. Lord, help us as we work. Be with us as the cornerstone of all that we build, for we can do nothing well without your aid. Lord, help us as we work. You have created us anew in the resurrection of your Son. Give us the strength to create a new life in a new world. Lord, help us as we work. You taught us, Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us praise you, O Lord, with voice and with mind and deed, and since life itself is your gift, may all we have and all we are be yours, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day. God bless. Thank you.